Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to lesson number two, unit one, having fun. And today's lesson is a reading lesson, and we're going to read a blog about uh, answering a question. And the question was, so what do you do in your free time? We are speaking about hobbies, and hobbies are peculiar or unique to different people. Some people, they do different things in their spare time. Example, some people read, some people sleep, some people collect things, some people make things. So, we're going to read this blog and you will answer very quickly two questions. Post it on Google Classroom so I can have a look. The first question is, how many people like collecting things? For example, like here, they are collecting caps from the different bottles. And number two, who has got the strangest hobby? Strangest hobby? Uh, it's not very familiar to other people and not many people do this type of hobby. So who from these people do you think have the strangest hobby? So let's read the question very quickly. It says, so what do you do in your free time? Okay, we know you all like watching TV and playing computer games, but we want to know some of the other things you do when you've got some free time. Write us a line or two and let us know. And this was posted on January 22nd. So we're going to read the first person, Nathan. And Nathan says, I love collecting autographs of my friends and family. Now I want to get some from some famous people. Autographs are signatures. They are signatures uh, that people sign on checks, on documents, on letters. And it's unique to every single person. That means no other or no two people have the same signature. So he likes collecting signatures. They are called autographs. The second person is Chloe. And she says, I enjoy lying on my back and looking at the clouds. I try to find different shapes in them. It's really relaxing. And I occasionally fall asleep doing it. So her hobby needs a perfect summer's day where she can go outside and have a look at the clouds. You can try it as well. You'll be amazed at some of the shapes or the things you might see in clouds. And the third person here is Izzy. Once a week, my granddad takes me out for a milkshake. I love listening to his stories. It's the best. So, he likes spending time listening to people tell stories. That's his hobby. The fourth person is Adam. I can't stand walking to school, so I sometimes invent little games to help pass the time. For example, I try to think of an animal or a football team or a city for every letter of the alphabet. So uh, I'm going to explain this hobby. This is a kind of a strange hobby. Uh, as he walks to school, uh, he starts with the alphabets. He starts with A and he tries to think of every animal that starts with A. Do you know any animal that starts with A? Antelope? Yeah. Uh, then he starts thinking of a football team that starts with A, Almeria, uh, a city that starts with A, Amsterdam, and this is what he does. He goes from A to Z. The fourth, I mean, the, sorry, the fifth person is Liz. Liz says, I like doing my homework as soon as I get home from school. Is there something wrong with me? Oh, yes, Liz. Not many children go home and start doing their homework. So, she's a special child. She loves doing homework in her free time. The next person is Rebecca. I really like going for a walk on my own in the forest near our house. That sounds dangerous. There's always something interesting to see and I never get bored. Well, I wouldn't advise walking alone in the forest. Mm. What do you think? The next person is Lewis. And Lewis says, I collect bottle tops. 
I always take one home every time I go to a restaurant. So this picture here is Lewis's hobby. The next person is Dylan. What do you think Dylan says? He says, I like watching the news on TV. I watch it every day. My friends think I'm weird. No, Dylan, I don't think you're weird. Watching the news is good. It's great. It keeps us informed. What do you think? The next person is Kuba. I hate being on my own. So when I am by myself, I usually start talking to my imaginary friends. Ah, everyone has an imaginary friend, but don't tell anyone. Do you have an imaginary friend? Jasmine, I really get bored, but if I do, I just go to the library and get a book to learn about something new. It works every time. So she loves reading books. And there's plenty of things we can learn from books. Daisy, I like writing poems. I often write a poem when I've got nothing to do. This is, this is good. I like writing poems as well. So, your assignment is, you're going to read the sentences. Which of the people above do you think is saying each one? For example, the first one, a country that starts with R. This hobby was Adam's hobby. Okay. Who said or whose hobby had this sentence? Have you got a book about birds? Who do you think this hobby belongs to? Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Can you write your name for me in my book? Sorry, I can't come to the park now. I want to finish my maths. And hey, that one looks just like a cow. Do you know who's or which of the people said these things or have acquaintances to these sentences? That's your homework for today. So write your answers and post them on Google Classroom.